I wonder what's in the box. Guess using your five senses. Touch. Burger. Smell. Mm. Yeah, it's probably popcorn. It might be some sort of chips or something, but yeah, I think it's popcorn. Here. I don't know, I can't hear anything. I feel like it's something that's really quiet. Taste. Wow. What's up, everybody? I'm Cody. And I'm Kelvin. Welcome to our lab, the Wow Lab. lab. Hello to everyone watching our live video today. Here in the Wow Lab, we want to hear the things you wonder about and see if we can find some answers that make you say, Wow. But have you ever wondered what it means to, you know, wonder? Okay, then, check this out. Wonder, it's something we do every single day. We wonder what we're going to have for dinner or what that funny smell is coming from the refrigerator. Yeah. We wonder why we didn't get a speaking part in the school play or why sometimes we can see the moon in the middle of the day. Sometimes I wonder how Miss Finkelstein's hair stands up so tall on its own. God created our brains to wonder about the things around us because when we do, we'll be able to see how awesome and wonderful he is. When we search for the definition of wonder, here's what we found. No, not Wonder Woman. Let's try searching for definition of wonder. Okay, that's better. Wonder, a feeling of surprise and admiration caused by something beautiful, unexpected, or unexplainable. That's what happens when we let our minds wonder about the cool and crazy things around us. We'll be surprised and say, wow, at how wonderful God is. Yeah, wonder makes us say, so I've got to know, what are some things that you guys wonder about God? I know I've always been curious about what does he look like and why can't we see him? That's a good question. I've wondered that too. And have you ever wondered what God sounds like? Like, can we really hear his voice? What are some things that you guys have wondered about God? Oh, look, Curious Cow 2013 says, sometimes I wonder who God is and what does he do all day? Stellar question, Cal, and I think I've got the perfect WOW Lab experiment that's gonna help us find some answers. So while I get it ready, you guys play this fun game. Lab Rats versus Lab Cats Dance Battle. This side of the room will dance with the Lab Rat, and this side of the room will dance with the Lab Cat. Get on your feet and help your team win. Everybody find a seat. I've got a question for you guys. Have y'all ever wondered what happens when you mix different types of candy with soda? Actually, I never have, but I'm guessing that's what today's experiment is gonna show us. Yep. 
Today we're going to mix three types of candy with this soda and see if the reaction is big enough to inflate this balloon. Hand me the first candy. I'm gonna go with Pop Rocks. Love the sound they make, and I can't imagine what's gonna happen when we combine it with the soda. Great choice. Perfect. Gonna stretch that on. All right, candy number two. Mm. Candy number... What are we thinking? What you got there? Candy number two. Mentos. No Mentos. Did you yeah. eat all of them? Nope. All, all right. I definitely did Should not. Should be good with just one if you want to pop right. that just in there. Love it. Cool. So, hey, that's only going to save us for the lifesavers. Lifesaver. Great choice. Great choice. Right. Do you want to throw one in the third balloon for you, my friend? Nice. Perfect. All right. You ready? Not yet. No, I'm ready. We're ready. All right. All right. Count it down from three. Three, three two, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Can you see that? We're gonna go. Oh no! Oh no! no. no. Contain ah. the wildness. Hold it in. I don't know if you guys can see this at home, guys, but. The wellness is just going, going, and going. This is insane. All right. I think it's stable. All right. Whew. Number two. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh my. Whoa. 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 Was not ready for this wellness. Whew. Wow, it's still going. Whoa. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Well, all right. Hey, you just hold that there, okay? Can you contain it? I'll try. All right. Three, two, one. Come on, hurry. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Whoa. All right. I hope you guys are capturing this at home. It's crazy. Oh, gosh. The oh, wildness is bubbling now. How do you know Wow could do that? All right. All right. As we get settled, I don't know about you, but this has been crazy. That was some insane experiments. I love it, but I really Ooh. don't like. Uh, yeah, we're kind of making a mess here. How? All right, while we try to contain all this, why don't you guys play a game and we're going to clean up here. Oh, yeah. Catch you in a bit. <sighs> What's under the microscope? That was really fun. But I gotta know, Cody, how do soda and candy help us find answers to what we're wondering about God? I'm glad you asked, but I'm not gonna tell you quite yet because the two of us and Curious Cal aren't the only ones who've wondered what God is like. Check this out. Hey, Beaker. Yeah, Millie? Have you ever thought about how big God is? He's bigger than I can even imagine, and there's just so much I want to know about him. Well, you're not alone, buddy. Everyone has been wondering about God since the beginning of time, and Moses was one of those people. In a book of the Bible called Exodus, in chapter 33, we can read about when Moses said to God, teach me more about yourself, then I can know you. And guess what? God talked back to Moses. God said, I will do exactly what you have asked. I am with you, and I know your name. I know all about you. Wow, God knew all about Moses. And Moses wanted to know all about God. So God said he would make all his goodness pass in front of Moses, but that Moses couldn't see his face. God said that no one could see him and stay alive. So if Moses saw God's face, he would die? Yep, and God didn't want that to happen. So he told Moses that he would put him in the crack of a rock and cover him up with his hand when he passed by. So it sounds like God's hand is big enough to cover Moses? Whoa. Then God said he would remove his hand and Moses could see his back, but not his face. Yeah, because there's something so powerful and holy and mysterious about God that there's no way Moses could take it all in. But 
I haven't heard of anyone seeing God like that lately. So how can we know what God looks like if we can't see Him? Well, some people say that seeing is believing. But even though we can't see what God looks like, there are many ways we can see what He is like. The world around us helps us see and believe. Psalm 19, 1 and 2 says, The heavens tell about the glory of God. The skies show that His hands created them. Day after day, they speak about it. Night after night, they make it known. So when we look at the clouds or the stars or beautiful sunset, we are seeing how awesome God is? Wow. Yep, and Romans 1.20 says that ever since the world was created, it's been possible to see the qualities of God that are not seen. Those things can be seen in what He has made. So there are ways we can see God without seeing His face. But is Moses the only person who talked with God and saw him like that? No, lots of people did. Even a guy named Elijah, who was running from an evil queen. Elijah had stopped trusting God to take care of him and was hiding in a cave. That's when God said, Elijah, why are you here? Elijah told God he was scared, and that's when God said, Go out, stand on the mountain in front of me. I am going to pass by. So was Elijah going to get to see God? Not quite. As God got close to the mountain where Elijah was hiding, there was a very powerful wind. But God wasn't in the wind. But then there was an earthquake. But God wasn't in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire. But God wasn't in the fire either. Then all of a sudden, Elijah heard a gentle whisper. Was it God who was whispering? Yes, because that's what God's voice sounds like. Whenever we wonder about God, we can look for Him in creation, and we can listen for His gentle, quiet voice that speaks to our minds and our hearts. I can wonder about God. Okay, everybody take a seat. Today's Bible story helped us know what God looks like and sounds like, which is what the two of us were wondering. And now I'm gonna show everybody, including you, Curious Cal, how the experiment we did here in the WOW Lab shows us who God is. Understanding who God is is a mind-blowing mystery that is almost unexplainable using regular scientific objects. So while this is an idea of who God is, there's just no way to fully describe Him but maybe this will help us understand a little bit more. So we used one type of soda 
to remind us that there is only one true God. But we had three different bottles because did you know that God is made up of three persons? No, I had no idea about that. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Hey, you're not alone though. Check this out. Professor Sai here to help you wonder why. Have you ever wondered why people say that God is three in one? It's one of the most mysterious and fascinating things about him. You see, God is one God made up of three different persons. God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. But that doesn't mean he is three actual people. Think about it like water. Water can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. But it's still only one thing, water. In the same way, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are all the same God, but they do different things. God the Father is the best dad ever. He is in heaven watching over us and is excited for us to join him one day. God the Son is Jesus. God sent him from heaven to earth over 2,000 years ago to show us how to live and take the punishment for all the wrong things we do by dying on the cross. Then he came back to life, and now he is in heaven, getting ready to come back to earth again soon. And God the Holy Spirit works in the hearts of everyone who believes in God, helping them know how to follow his son, Jesus. God is three in one, and there is no one like him. So our three bottles represent the three parts of God. There's God the Father, then there's God, the Son, who's Jesus. So that would leave God, the Holy Spirit? Yeah, exactly. Knowing more about the three parts of God helps us answer so many questions about who he is and what he does. So let me see if I'm tracking. Like the three bottles of soda we had, when we put in three different kinds of candies, they all had different reactions. Just like each part of God does different things. That's exactly right. Wow, God is just more wonderful than any one person could ever be. Yep, God's one awesome God. That's why Moses said, Lord, who among the gods is like you? Who is like you? You are majestic and holy. Your glory fills me with wonder. You do amazing things. Exodus 15, 11. I can wonder about God. Wow! All right. That's all for today. But if you got more questions, here's what you can do. Talk to God, tell him what you're wondering about. You can even ask him to show you an answer. Read the Bible, it's full of amazing things that will blow your mind. You can even ask a grown up what you're wondering and see what they can help you find. And of course, tune in next time to see what answers we discover. As always, keep wondering until you find out something that makes you say, wow. See you next time, guys. Bye.